Hello friends, today we are going to check this new fiber shot OTDR. Let's open the box. You'll find a bag containing the OTDR. This is the OTDR. Looks nice and sturdy. Solid built. Made by Star Informatics Private Limited, Delhi. Let's try this baby today. So what we have in the back is the OTDR main unit. We have the power cable. We have the cord for the carry bag. We have an OTDR holder which can be fitted here to hold the OTDR in one hand. We also have a USB cable for data transfer. Then we have the charger for charging the OTDR. So let's check the results and how the OTDR performs. Okay, let's switch it down and see how it works. Although it's a good looking unit, but a good looking unit should also work good. So it's switching on, it's booting up, and I can see the FiberShot logo, FiberShot website, and support information on the front page. We'll check it on a spool, which is for 75 kilometers. Now the, as the OTDR is on, uh, there are four options one is OTDR one is FLM that's that means fiber link map one is OPM one is VFL and the same options are available here also there are options for system setting so I what I can see here is there are three options here o OTDR OPM VFL there is no OPM option here it means uh, that the OPM is not functional in this OTDR. The ports that we have are two USB port for data transfer to the PC and upgrade the software. One OTDR port for plugging in your OTDR cable. This is the stylus. You can use this for doing your work. And this is the VFL. So this OTDR has two options, one is power meter and one is for VFL. So either of the two is available. If it has a VFL, it will not have a power meter. If there is a power meter option, then there will be no VFL. So this unit that we are checking is with a VFL, means visual fault locator. Visual fault locator is a red light to detect fiber faults. Then we have uh, charging with two different options one is through the charger supplied with the OTDR and another one is with a standard USB port a very good feature you know you can charge your OTDR with your mobile phone charger also okay so let's try this try the features of this OTDR so let's check the VFL first so when I click this the VFL is in the off mode you can see the light is not on and when I click this you can see the light is on light it on means it is now in a performing mode so with VFL we can easily detect fiber faults let me demonstrate it uh, to you I have a fiber spool here I connect this fiber spool to the connector and now the VFL is connected. Oh, I'm sorry, I have connected this to the wrong port. Let me connect it to the right port. So now the VFL is connected. As you can see, we have the light 
coming from the another end let me switch off the light first so that you can have a more clear view we have VFL light coming from the end so whenever there is a fault in the fiber or wherever there is a loss in the fiber the fiber will start to glow see uh, if you can see here this area is glowing it means it has a this is a high loss area means it has a high loss in this area see for example I'll bend this fiber from here just to create a loss point and you will see that it starts glowing see so whenever you have to check if there, if there is any loss in your cable which is visually you can see so this is called visual fault locator so you can see this fault by your own eyes anywhere you bend and if there is a high loss this fiber will start glow so this is a very good feature and very good device for uh, checking the fiber health okay so the prime function is the OTDR so let's get into that so let's switch off the VFL first and come back to the main screen by pressing the escape button now we are on the main screen and I have selected the OTDR function now and here I am connecting this patch cord to the OTDR this patch cord is connected to a spool and this box has a spool of 75 kilometers inside and this is the this is the other end of the spool and actually there are three spools which are of 25 kilometers each this is not one spool of 75 kilometers three spools of 75 km, 25 kilometers each and uh, all of them are spliced or connected through a connector so let's see what kind of results this OTDR produce so now to test what we do is uh, there are options what we can choose so let's go to the setup in setup we can select different wavelength 1550 1310 or we can also select both to select to do the testing on uh, both wavelengths simultaneously let's say we select 1550 and we press ok then in the test mode there is a auto mode then there's a manual mode so if we select auto all settings like range of fiber pulse width test resolution unit everything is on auto done automatically so ideally uh, the OTDR is to be kept on the auto mode so that the OTDR can detect the length of the fiber and select the parameters by itself if uh, somebody is not able to understand so best is to detect auto mode and if you can understand how the OTDR works you can select the manual mode and when you select the manual mode you can select the range of the OTDR how many kilometers let's say it can go up to it is on auto then you have short distance 100 meter 240 160 but practically because this is a small range OTDR up to 26 dB it will give good results up to 80 kilometers only so ideally that is why I, I suggested that ideally you should select auto mode okay so this is the range this is the pulse you can select how much pulse how many how many shots are to be fired in a seconds part like 3 nanoseconds one shot 5 nanoseconds 10 nanoseconds so this so by selecting this the OTDR fires in this much time frame okay so better keep it on the auto mode test time if you keep it on auto mode the OTDR will select the time by itself if you keep it in the one manual mode you can change the time and settings so this is one thing 
now if we select this and go to the auto mode everything will become auto I say add select OK 18 seconds I increase it to 30 seconds which is ideal for OTR and after selecting all this I press this test button test so now this OTDR is configuring and checking the fiber configuring parameters because it it is trying to detect the length of the fiber first so it takes a little bit time then acquisition in progress means it's trying to detect the losses the faults and let's see what it uh, shows it's because I selected 30 seconds it will test for 30 seconds continuously so when the test is complete it will give you results these are the joints or loss point this first joint is for the first connector which is here then we have 1 2 and 3 25 50 and this is the end 75 kilometers you can see the results here you can see distance segments loss total loss slope everything and this is how you can trace and see the results also we have option where you press f3 and you can see the results in in the form of excel it is very easy for you to understand so you can see distance 25 kilometers loss on this joint is 0.6 to two total loss in this segment is this slope is this so this is how you can read the OTR reading and if I press escape I again reach to the main menu and I'll show you this fantastic feature this is called FLM I press this and press test to test on FLM I can press from here or also from here let me press from here so it has started testing and let's because this is a FLM means fiber link map it will show you complete health of the fiber along with the type of uh, data you know type of joint whether it's a splice or whether it's a connector whether it's a bend it will uh, show you here it's like a graphical not not graphical you can call you it's like a more uh, simple view of what is like what is your network like how many connectors how many joints so you can see it is testing on different wavelengths different uh, pulse width presently it's testing at 1550 5 us 10 us now see it has detected s s means start and this is a connector So this is the one connector now it's working on 1550 5 us and see it's, it has completed so you can see there are this is the connector this is one splice at 25 kilometer this is another splice at 50 kilometer and this is the end at 75 kilometer and in the end again there is a connector here So it means first connector and the last connector. So this way you can determine connector, splice, connector, connector, splice, splice, connector. So it has two joints. This spool has two joints and both of them can be seen on this footage here. So it's a good unit producing very good results. Let's press escape and go back to the main menu. And uh, I think uh, this is a very good unit at the cost what we are getting it for. Very simple to use, handy. You can use it with one hand or two hands or with a stick. And everything works fine. The stick goes inside. You remove the fiber connector 
Everything works well. Very nice. This unit has an inbuilt battery that gives a backup of around 8 hours and a stand wherein whereas you can keep it like this and do the testing. It can also transfer data from the OTDR to the computer. You can check the files, edit them and send it to your operators. Very easy, very simple and a beautiful handy plus sturdy solid unit producing very good results. Thank you for watching. Keep watching. If you need further information, please contact Star Technologies or go to our website www.fibershot.net and you can uh, send in your requirement, request or any technical support that you need. Very good. Thank you. Bye-bye.